is 7.45 on Monday morning and um, today is kind of an exciting day. Today I have an interview at a grad school that's about an hour away. So I'm going to be leaving around noon because I'm a little bit, it's at 2 o'clock, but I'm a little bit scared about traffic because Obama's coming to Charlottesville today. So I know that the schools are getting out early because they're worried about traffic. Say they um, section off the entire road that he's going to be on, so but no one knows when he's arriving, so everyone's kind of freaking out because that's what happens. So I want to get going at 12 so that I know for sure that I will be there on time. Um, so I thought I'd get up early so I can do some laundry first of all because I want to wear something nice and I need some clean clothes for that. and. Also, so I can get some of my homework done that I need to do today so that I don't have to worry about any of that later. So, I'm going to go um, have some juice, have some breakfast, do some laundry, get started on some homework. I try to get a lot of things done even before Steve gets, get, gets going for today. Today for breakfast, I'm going to be having just this kid strawberry Greek yogurt and some orange juice. Meanwhile, I'm going to be working on this discussion board. I got Steve's lunch all ready to go. He is having some leftover Alfredo grapes, cashews, those are some Oreos, and a cheese stick. I just planned out all the meals we're going to have this week. The kitchen is clean. So Steve just left for work. It is, I think, just after nine. Yeah, it's 9.02. I'm just having my coffee, and I was sitting in this window seat that my mom made this beautiful pillow for. It fits perfectly, and this little throw pillow, too. So it's just really nice to sit in right now. Uh, so I'm going to sit here and have my coffee and relax for a little bit. It is 9.20, and my load of laundry is done so i'm gonna go ahead and put it in the dryer and then i'm going to wash this sweater which is what i want to wear today to my interview so i'm gonna go ahead and do that all right i'm just going to quickly film my vlog for today all right it is time for me to take a history or a geography quiz it usually takes me about 45 minutes. These are pretty intense quizzes. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and get that taken care of and I will see y'all after that. It is 10.38 and I took my quiz. I switched out my laundry. I have a bunch of laundry done and I'm gonna throw in my sheets. And now it's time for a super fun, sped up cleaning sequence. Go!
emptied the little trash cans upstairs and I'm going to just quickly go through my fridge and throw out any leftovers that are bad and then I'm going to take all the trash out for today. So um, I'm going to run and do that and then I'll probably take Asher out and get something to eat. A lot of branches are down. I wonder why. Come on, buddy. Wow, look at all of them. Oh, this big one. Ew. is 11:33, and I just got back in my nose is all red because it's cold outside um so I am going to go ahead and get dressed because I want to leave at noon this is dry yeah yeah throw it in for five more minutes but I'm going to go ahead and get dressed and get my hair ready and my makeup ready. And then I'm going to run and get some lunch and find the directions. And then it'll probably be time to go. All right. I didn't really have time to have lunch. So I'm just bringing it on the road with me. I just have a banana. And here is a sandwich with cheese and ham and also part of a cookie that I was eating earlier and a Coke. So I'm just gonna grab the address and get going. Right, it is 12.05 and I am on my way. It says it will be about an hour, so I will see y'all then. All right, I finished my interview. I think it went pretty well, it was a lot of fun. It got me all excited again about going to this program. So hopefully, hopefully it went well. They said in a few weeks, like two or three weeks, I will know. So I'm gonna drive back home, it's 2.30 now. And it takes about an hour, so I'll be home at 3.30 or something, hopefully. Except for right now is the midst of the Obama traffic, so hopefully I'll still be able to make it home. I'm home. It is 3.41, and it was okay getting home, but there were so many police cars and news vans, and I don't know. It was just, you could tell that something was going on, but, you know, obviously it's Obama's here. And apparently my dad saw him flying over, so I guess he landed and is on his way to Monticello. <laughs> so that's pretty exciting, but I'm home. I'm just gonna change out of my nice interview outfit into my regular clothes again. I am importing my videos so far and I'm just gonna edit for a little bit and post uh, today's vlog. It is 4.30, that was Asher, and I am saving my video for today, and I am working on editing the thumbnail, so I'm going to go ahead and finish that up, and then hopefully get it uploaded. Alright, while that's saving, I'm going to uh, put my sheets away and make my bed. Uploading my video for today. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, that one. <laughs> All right. I'm just feeding Cheetah. So it is like a quarter after five, and normally I would start on dinner right now, but it turns out they have closed the street um, to go home for Steve from his work to my house, our house. Um, so he might be stuck at work. I don't know. 
but I've heard, see, nobody knows what's going on. That's like you try to look it up and you can't figure it out. So, hey, Asher. No, no. He's licking the trash can. So, he might be stuck at work, but I have heard that the road is closed and all the roads that lead to my house for that matter because Monticello um, and, and the highway that leads to Monticello are sort of right in between Steve's work and my house, our house. Why do I keep saying my house? <laughs> anyway, so I wanted to plan to have dinner a little bit later, like 6.30, because hopefully he'll be home by then. I have heard that by 6.30 it'll be over. So I'm gonna plan on that, but I don't wanna get started too early on dinner, just in case he does get stuck. And otherwise we'll just, if he does get home on time, we'll just eat a little bit later. So I'm gonna probably do some homework. I have to do a reading for my sociology class in the morning. So I'm gonna probably, oh, excuse me. I'm gonna probably do that. And then in like maybe half an hour or so, or 20 minutes, I'll start on dinner. Steve called right after, hold on. So Steve called right after I stopped filming and he was leaving work and it turns out he was the last person because they opened, they had the road closed from 3.30 to 4.30. This is what I had heard. It was closed from 3.30 to 4.30, and then they were going to close it again from 5.30 to 6.30 so that um, Obama could, I guess, go back to the airport. And it's 5.24, and I had told Steve that that's what I had heard. I was like, I don't know, but this is what I heard. So I guess he tried to leave before 5.30, and he was the last person to make it over the bridge. And, like, right after he made it over the bridge, all these cops pulled up and started blocking the thing off. So he's on his way home. He's going to be here in a few minutes. So I got dinner started anyway. But yeah, that was really cool that he was able to make it because everyone else is going to have to wait an hour, which would, you know, I mean, it'd be fine, but still. Anyway, so that's what happened. Crazy day in Charlottesville. So I am just boiling some water and I'm going to peel these potatoes and make some mashed potatoes and we're going to have ham steak, and I think probably a salad or something like that. All right, it is 6.38. Uh, my face is kind of red because it, um, I was over the stove and it was hot. So I'm gonna call my friend Anna and tell her about my interview today. And I don't know what I'm gonna do after that. I'm probably gonna do my reading just hang out for the rest of the night. All right, it is about 8.30 and I'm gonna try out this hair treatment thing that I saw on Pinterest. It's supposed to help dry hair and it is just an egg yolk, uh, three tablespoons of olive oil and a tablespoon of honey. So I'm gonna work it through my hair and see what that does. It says leave it on for an hour. So meanwhile, I'm going to do my sociology reading, but I think I'm going to end this video now before all this happens. <laughs> so I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.